Welp, here we are. We have a title match set. Game set now. It's time for the match. And what we're going to have next Sunday is going to be very, very intriguing. We're talking a dominant defense versus a very high-powered offense. Let's talk about these semifinal games that just wrapped up first. Um, Delaware, South Dakota State. What's well, not even close? What's not even close? We're talking Delaware made mistake after mistake after mistake at their mistake and Gronowski and company just cruised to victory we're talking cruised to victory by 30 Delaware couldn't get anything going you know Delaware was supposed to you know have this dominant defense themselves you know that dominant defense that held you know Jacksonville State and Sacred Heart to under 100 yards passing you know that defense did not work did not work against South Dakota State. And South Dakota State is a damn good team. Just a damn good team. Very dominant. Their one loss was, you know, a loss. I mean, it was a loss that, you know, that, that couldn't have been, you know, anticipated. So I, don't, you know, I don't even remember at this point because, I mean, they've just been so dominant. They, they've they earned the number one seed by just beating down the Missouri Valley. And now they've beaten down a couple of opponents in the playoffs. And beat them down pretty bad. Well, not Missouri State. Uh, or rather, South, Southern Illinois. My bad. My bad. I forgot. I forgot already. Because, I mean, it, it's, it's... What was different about this game was the Delaware, you know. they. It seemed like they had something. It seemed like they had something for a hot minute. Then, you know, the mistakes just started piling up. I mean, we got kicking errors. We got all sorts of stuff going wrong. We got... We, we just got, Delaware just got outplayed, outclassed it in that game. And in the semifinal game that just finished up, James Madison choked again. Choking. They choked in 2019 in the national championship. They choked. They had the game won. And instead, Danucci, you know, threw a bad pass that got picked off. This time around... James Madison had a lead, had a big lead too. I thought this game was going to be over when it said 27 to 10. Somehow Sam Houston got back into this game, and they did it again. Sam Houston did it again. They got back into this game. They proved their might against a very tough team, and they pulled a rabbit. They pulled a rabbit out, and they got the W. James Madison made a couple of big mistakes towards the end by trotting out a kicker that has no experience and then you know they were gonna get the ball back less than 30 seconds left maybe you could do something you can do something in 30 seconds college football we've seen that dumb penalty into the game Sam Houston State is going up the Frisco not even gonna be very far going up the Frisco to win a national championship for the first time both, both South Dakota State and Sam Houston going up ready for a national championship, ready for their first titles. So again, this matchup for the FCS championship is going to be a matchup of defense, offense, South Dakota State. Again, very physical, very profound. They have a freshman quarterback that's been playing lights out, and they have a dominant offensive line as well. Very dominant. We're talking, they, they call them the 605 Hogs. A damn good offensive line, let me tell you that. And on the other side, Sam Houston State, very, very gritty defense. We're talking very gritty. You know, they can pull, they can pull some things. They can pull some things off. But that offense is spread offense. You know, spread offenses in college football are like wildfire. They spread and they go quick. They go, they go the way they want to go. They're not going to take no for an answer. They're going to, they're going to do whatever they want to do against you if you don't try and stop it. So this matchup. In honesty, in all honesty, my prediction is that I think South Dakota State will win their first national championship. But I could be wrong, as usual. I was wrong. We were wrong about Sam Houston State all season long. We were wrong about Sam Houston State in these playoffs. We thought most people thought they were going to get bounced, you know, maybe in the first or second round. 
But they didn't. They made it all the way to a national championship. I'm still gonna go with South Dakota State in my gut, though. I think, I think it's, I think it's time. You know, <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know it's another Missouri Valley team. I know it's another Dakota team. But hey, I think it's time. I think it's time for somebody else to, you know, get some stuff going on around here. Because I mean, South Dakota State is that damn good. They're that damn good this year. They were really good. Sam Houston State cannot afford to go down again because I don't think South Dakota State is going to, you know, let up. Unlike, you know, not say North Dakota State or James Madison. I don't think they're gonna let up. I don't think they're gonna they have to they have to play South Dakota State close if they wanna win this game, honestly. You know, they have to play it close and they have to get momentum they have to get that momentum back up into a point to where that they can, you know, just keep going, keep doing what they need to do, and not be behind, not have to play it real close with a tough team. You know, they can't Sam Houston State cannot do that. They cannot do that at all. The Bearcats want to walk out of Frisco. They got to shut down that offense of South Dakota State. They got to make sure they outpace that defense. If not, then the Jackrabbits are running all the way from Frisco back up to South Dakota with a national championship. I'll see you guys after the national championship. The FCS national championship will be next Sunday on ABC, of course. And I'll see you guys then. Y'all take care. Have a good weekend.